<laughs> said, I rejoice when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Jacob said, this could be none other than a gateway to the very heaven. Thankful for the angels that descending and sending the night, surrounding us, glory to God, for all God's promises and assurances that he gives us. I was just thinking back there, glory to God, you know, not all my time is in church. Uh, yesterday morning, got up and praise the Lord, uh, I was going to go uh, uh, turkey hunting and uh, praise God, left about uh, 4.30, 7 5, got over there and, you know, uh, everything was just right to him. Yeah, praise God. I mean, it was just a lovely morning. Thank the Lord for it and everything. Yeah. Praise God. It, it, I mean, I was in the right place. and uh, All the evidence had been around. I uh, done checked that out. Praise God. Got out there and got my utensils out and ready to start hooting uh -huh. him. Praise God. Man, I give that first, first hoot and it just, I thought, maybe the world's coming in. And then things start flying everywhere. Uh -huh. Walked right in under them. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I thought, well, that's that. That's over with. I'll go over to the other place. I'll go over to the other place. And I went over to the other place, all right. Uh, right there, I just put my gun up, picked my saw up, cut about 12 or 15 trees, made me pass to where I would be going. Huh? Where yeah. I would be going, praise God. And sometimes that's the way it is, folks. We can be we can be in the right place. And, huh? Glory to God. I mean, just everything is set to order. Glory to God. But it just don't happen. Amen. Praise God, and then you're going to move to the other place, and it's a little more laborious, and yeah, I'm still a little sore from it. That saw eats me up sometimes. Praise God. But I, after I got through saw and everything, went down to camp, and I went weed eating, mowed the whole camp, and uh, got all the way back to the house, glory to God, and right there in the bottom of the yard, yep. looked down there, and there he was, old big blowed up to God. But I said, it's 10 after 4, but I'll still shoot you. Yep. But I did. I did, and I let him go, amen. Praise God. Sometimes if, if you're hungry and thirsty enough, I mean, it, it, it'll be there. Amen. Glory to God. Just It's just wonderful tonight what we feel here, and it's good to be with you. And glory to God. I know we've got some that is uh, missing tonight, and may our hearts and prayers go out to them this, uh, this day. Uh, uh, glory to God. But I was telling Tim back there, the, the lady here talking about the uh, feeling old and getting old, and I go to the mirror quite often myself, glory to God. And I, I, try, I try to... Uh, to see that fella in there, but he always points back. No, it's really you. It's really you. Praise God. Amen. Sometimes it's a pride. Amen. Praise the Lord. But uh, I think we're in a time, and, and I, I've been here to cheer, glory to God, a, a witness and testified as, as JB was talking about, glory to God, uh, uh, what happened over in Israel uh, with the Houthis and the Hamas and, and all the surrounding area in the Middle East, glory to God. And it is intensifying. It is uh, increasing, praise the Lord, but it ought to excite us, uh, amen, yeah, not make us sad, uh, praise God, because this thing's coming to fulfillment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's coming to complete. I know we got loved ones and stuff, folks, but they've had plenty of time, uh, amen, glory. It's not, we're not trying to persuade and convince and influence them uh, that Jesus, how many believe Jesus is coming? Amen. Glory to God. Now, hallelujah. I don't mean that in a sense uh, that Jesus is uh, actually going to visit to the earth. Uh, amen. Because I believe there's going to be a shout with the voice of the archangel yeah. and the trump of God. But I don't believe Jesus is going to part them eastern skies, Timmy Bell. Glory to God. I believe, amen, he's a calling us up out of this thing. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. And you better be ready. Amen. But there is a time of a second coming where he will divide the eastern skies. Yeah. Glory to God. And right there, glory to God, I want you to know, I'm going to be riding with him. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm looking forward to that day. But I was thinking about Abraham he was talking about there. A man that believed God and it was accounted to him as righteousness. Glory to God. A father of all of us who had faith here tonight. But I was thinking he said 87 up to 100 years old and, and glory to God. When Isaac a son that he loved. Glory to God. And praise the Lord. He had, took him up onto the mountain to offer him up. Glory to God. And, and would have done that. He would have took his life. That's just how much that, that confidence and he trust in God. Do you have a enough trust and confidence yeah. in God tonight that you can trust yeah. him with your family. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. He did. Yeah. He knew, glory to God, whatever God called him, it wasn't too hard. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God because you could trust God. Amen. But, but praise the Lord, it went on and you know that 
that this man had to have heritage and, and this heritage was Isaac and Isaac, glory to God, was at marriage and age and praise the Lord, there's a little lady by the name of Rebecca, a man that, that was out there doing her business and carrying water and, and supplying all the, the, the region there around her father's house and stuff. She had no idea, but she was prepared. She was ready. She knew one day that she would be given in marriage. Amen. I don't know if you're ready or you're prepared or you even know it, but we're getting ready to go to a wedding place. You're getting ready to be presented and you better be virtuous and pure and heart because only the pure in heart is going to see God. Can somebody say amen? One of these days we're going to have a ring on our finger and we're going to be clothed in righteousness, praise God. And we're going to live on forever and ever and ever with the Lord. But praise God, one day she was met at a well and she was caught doing what she ought to be doing. I pray we're doing what God has called us to do tonight. Amen. And she was doing this, praise the Lord. Amen. She was entreated and and, and ask glory to God if she would willfully go with him uh, to meet the son. Did you hear what I said? To go meet the son. I said there's going to be a rapture. There's going to be a catching away. We're going to go to meet the Lord in the air where we'll forever be. Can somebody say amen? Praise God. It ain't nothing what I'm preaching. Amen. Because I, 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 I've been talking to the Lord ever since Sunday, Sunday morning at our church and Praise God, I know that uh, a lot of people is really uh, uh, discouraged and, and, and they're really hurting and, and they're praying as hard and, 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 and believing God, amen, uh, uh, for these changes uh, uh, in their families. But glory to God, I want you to know uh, uh, the only one that can change that is them. And glory to God, right now what we need to do is yep. just pray a holy conviction, uh, amen, that God will rest and surrender will come, that they'll yield up to the ghost, uh, amen, before it's too late. Uh, but praise the Lord as we come here. You know, as I know, these days are fulfilling. And you look in the streets of America and you look to the mentality of our young. They've alienated and separated ourselves. You can't put all the blame to them. It's upon the, the, the older bunch, a man that has kind of wanted a better life for them. And they kind of spoiled them and put them into a place. They don't even have to go to school. They don't have to make the grades. Amen. And glory, all they got to do is show up and praise the Lord. They are calling good bad and bad good. Amen. They're trying to justify their deeds tonight. Amen. They think they're hollering for peace. They think they're hollering for humanity and the welfare of thereof. But glory to God, they're not seeing the fact the devil don't change his ways. He's here to steal, kill, and destroy. And praise God, he tried to destroy Israel and annihilate Israel and wipe her off the map. It is nothing that they didn't do to Jesus. Amen. From the minute that he come, he was rejected. Amen. He was forsaken and denied. Praise <laughs> be to God. They, they sought to persecute. They sought to kill him until the day that they crucified him. Now, I want you to know that Jesus said as a manner of he that went through, also will Israel go through. They're going to be persecuted. They're going to be rejected. They're going to be compassionate and praise God the devil is going to try to annihilate and wipe them out but what I want you to know tonight it's not only the physical Israel it's only not only the hour the country of Israel it's anything that is called a Jew how many know you're a Jew tonight how many know that you're a born again Jew can you hear what I'm saying they not only hate the race of the Israelites they hate the race of anybody called a Christian they would wipe you out just as quick as they would them. And get ready, folks. It's coming our way. Hello? Yep, amen. I think it flashed on the news today. 26 out of 50 uh, 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 institutions, there is an uprising over Hamas, the Palestinians, and Israel. Even our president is wanting to back a two state. I want you to know anything with two heads, amen, is going to be unstable within That's its right. way. It's going to be divided. Praise God. I don't know about you, but for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. I stand with Israel tonight. I said I stand with Israel tonight. Come by. Say amen.
Well, anyway, back in January, the Lord gave me this, and I told you uh, maybe a a few sermons uh, uh, that I preached here about what was and what is. And and God's been showing me, uh, amen, if there was ever a hanging on time, uh, if there was ever a time, glory to God, that you abide within the ship, uh, if there was ever a time you was hooked to the vine, uh, it ought to be tonight. uh, Because if you disconnect, uh, you're going to die out. If you jump overboard, uh, it's going to be suicide. Side. Amen. Jesus is our way and our truth and our life. And somebody praise God. But I got to read this and, and, and study in honor. Glory to God. And, and I like to, to always press forward to the prize of the high calling. But sometimes I reminisce and I go back. Just like you were doing there a while ago, leading the boats and stirring in the ashes. You stir long enough. If they're hot enough, you can make a fire. If there's ever a time we need a fire in the church, it's tonight. Amen. We need some wood to throw up on the fire. We need every testimony. We need every witness. We need every prayer. We need every song. We need to unify, come together. We need to encourage, inspire. We need to motivate. We need to pull and push. Amen. And lift our brothers and sisters. This is the time to lift the name of Jesus above. Come on now. Amen. So as I was uh, walking with the Lord here and dropping this into my spirit, I I brought some of it to our church Sunday morning. I'm going to bring some of it to you tonight. If you'll go over into Psalms 25, verses 4. Psalms 25, 4. I hear the pages just follow the tracks. Show me thy ways. O Lord, teach me thy paths. Psalms 16, verse 11. That will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And at thy right hand, there are pleasures Forevermore. Can somebody say forevermore? Amen. Amen. Now, a favorite piece of scripture for the church and most Christians alike is chapter 23 of the book of Psalms. And it says on verses 3, He restoreth my soul and leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Praise God. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. Lord, we just come as a common person and humble before you, but Lord, our our appetite is different than those of the world. We crave and desire, Lord, a sitting at your table and pray, God, a feeling of your righteousness, Lord, that your anointing might be upon and you might end well and do with power. We pray, God, here tonight that we make us stand bold and courageous, not leading them to the right or left, but, Lord, bringing them to the cross. We pray, God, here tonight that you birth something, a something, Lord, that might be with travail and labor, but it will be with goodliness. And, Lord, that here tonight that you can put your hand upon it, Lord, that it might be added and increased and multiplied and be fruitful. We pray for this church and every man, woman, and child uh, for the families represented. We pray for those that are absent uh, and to our right and left Lord as a community uh, that is lost and undone. Might you visit them from on high. Send your spirit of invitation. And I pray God you persuade many. Uh, Pray Lord you use us tonight. uh, Speak through these lips of clay and through this heart Lord uh, that thou has given me uh, and Lord with a spirit uh, that is right. I pray Lord here tonight uh, that I bring glory to your name's sake and edify unto this body and it's in Jesus name and everybody see it. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a lot of things that are changing. Amen. But glory to God. One thing that I know, the path has not changed. It's the same. And so I'm going to preach a little bit about the past the same. And glory be to God. One thing that I know, amen, that from beginning to end, when Jesus was first pronounced and when Jesus was born to the Virgin Mary, amen, he hasn't changed. Amen. Glory to God. From the time that John the Baptist come to prepare his 
this way and to make his path straight. Uh, Jesus hadn't changed uh, until he baptized him uh, and heaven opened up and a voice spoke. Uh, glory to God and the spirit come down in the form and the shape of a dove. Uh, uh, up on him where straight with he was led of the spirit into the wilderness. Uh, overcome the tempter uh, 40 days Amen. and 40 nights. Uh, for he be to God he hasn't changed. Uh, Amen. From all the miracles uh, of walking on the water and turning the water to wine, open blind eyes and deaf ears, uh, causing the lame to walk and raising the dead. Jesus has not changed. Yeah. Coming up against yeah. the devil's glory to God, yeah. even those that was considered mean and ugly, those that dwelled among the grave, a man that would cut and, and chew and tear their cells up, glory to God, frightening other people, even they said, Jesus, thou son of God, yeah. has thou come to suffer before a time. I want you to know that even the devils believe and fear. We serve a God. Amen. I want you to know he's not Mohammed. He's not Buddha. They're dead. They're in the grave. They never rose. But glory to God, Jesus went to the cross and he went to the tomb. But on the third day he rose again. I'm talking about Jesus. It's the same tonight as he was. Come on now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, he went to the bowels of the earth. And yes, glory to God, he contended with the devil. And glory be to God, he come back with the keys. Amen. Yes. Glory yes. to God, if I read the Bible right, he said, I'm going to give you the keys. Amen. And the gates of hell will not, cannot, shall not prevail against you. By my strength, you're healed. Through the blood, you're saved. You are the redeemed. You're the church. You're all church. He left a napkin in that tomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard you, brother. Finish the job. Amen. Glory to God. He wasn't finished, folks. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. He still had more to do. Amen. He's not done yet. The door's still open. Amen. The invitation's still given. Amen. Whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord, they can be saved tonight. Can you hear me? Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to know that he'll leave the 99. He'll depart from this church. He'll search the alleys. He'll search the lanes. He'll go to the streets and the highways and the valleys. God means to give everybody an opportunity to find grace and to be saved and to be washed clean and have their name written down and make him their home. I was said as he walking along with the, the disciples who was become apostles, glory to God, he walked right up into the we preach that so so lightly and, 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 and we look around, glory to God, like it's nothing. But let's see one of y'all walk up in heaven. Huh? I'm telling you, amen. I, 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 I would I would have been like a stumped on toad frog, amen, watching him and going. You couldn't have shut my mouth if I experienced that. Praise be to God, I'd have preached like I never preached before. Can you hear me? Glory to God. He said, blessed are those eyes that see and believe, but more blessed are you who have not seen and believe. I'm a believer tonight. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the death, the burial, and the resurrection. I believe he ascended on high, sent down on the right hand side of the Father. Amen. And he's a coming back. Did somebody say amen? Stephen wasn't there. But the Bible said at that point of death, while they were stoning him, he looked up into the heavens. Where are you looking tonight? That he looked up into the heavens. Guess who he's seen? Yeah, he's he's seen Jesus like... sitting on the right hand side of the Father. I thank glory to God instead of signs and wonders. We need to look up and see Jesus. Can somebody say amen? amen. So I said was and is. Now the Lord, as we're getting close to the middle of the year, is showing me that which is to come and 
I started thinking glory to God about the path and the path glory to God that to me is something that is very trodden amen something that's being used something glory to God has become a course and a way and glory to God it's to take you from to and to bring you back and I told him I said I go back when I was a child and praise God you see that's the thing tonight we need to gauge ourselves we need to know who we are Somebody of us been here for 30, 40 years but you're still obeyed in Christ some of you ain't been here long but you grown up into a child some of you, glory to God, has really advanced and you matured but when you walk in the path it'll tell you exactly where you're at and somebody say amen we gotta walk it by faith and without faith we can't please God but faith will move God amen and if you're on this path I'll guarantee you, you'll come through a fall, amen, you'll come through storms like no other. Amen. Just as just as Adam and Eve and they fell and just as Noah and the storm hit just like Lot and all hell was all around him and his soul was vexed. If you stay on this path you'll run into a giant. You'll get in the fire. You'll see his hungry lion. But if you stay on this path you'll see a risen king. You'll see a Jesus. And somebody say He's the same. Nothing changed but us. Amen. He's got. I started thinking about this path. Glory to God, how it was laid out. Yeah, I give my age away. I'm about 29. But uh, back then, in the yesterday, which ain't too different than today. And I believe it'll still be there tomorrow. My grandpa had a home in the midst of this farm. Praise the Lord. We would go there, and everywhere that, that come from that home was a path. And praise God, it was a path out the front door to get to the automobiles. And praise God, amen, that was for you getting to and fro. And glory to God. But once you walked off the front steps and down the lot, we call it, right here was, was a coal bin. Amen. It was a path to the coal bin. Behind it was kindling wood. And a path to the kindling wood. And down below it was piles of wood. But they all had a path. I want you to know tonight you need to get on the right path amen because on the path you'll find the supplies of the necessities that you need in this life he said don't be as a Gentiles and seek what they're seeking if you seek my kingdom and my righteousness and I'll add all these things to you I mean grandpa had everything in order you didn't have to go down. The coal was mixed with the wood or the kindling. Huh? Praise God. Everything was in place. I want you to know God is not an author of confusion. He's got everything in place. Amen. Glory to God. Though the thing of it is, if you're bewildered or you're deranged or a little confusion, amen, the devil does it. But God is not the author of confusion. He gives you a stable mind. He gives you a path to walk. He'll keep you in the straight and narrow. He'll let you find life and have it in the bonus. And somebody praise God. I was a little tight. There was dad and there's grandpa. You go from them past. You see, that was all for the comfort of the house. We need things in the house of God to make us feel welcome and comfortable. Right. Give us a good atmosphere. You see, in that house, there, there was assurance of security. There was a warmth of, of bond and love. Glory to God. Amen. I, w I wasn't scared of nothing in that house. Uh, long as grandpa uh, and grandma uh, and all the rest are surrounding me. Uh, but praise be to God. Uh, I was still a child. Uh, amen. Uh, I needed them. Uh, you might not know it, uh, but you need the church. Uh, you need one another tonight. Uh, you need the encouragement. Uh, you need the love. Uh, you need the fellowship and the prayer. You need your faith filled. Uh, you need hope given. Amen. Yeah. Forsake not the assembling together as you see this day coming. What day? Prodigal, or the 
uh, Antichrist is coming. Yeah. I mean, I thought, now, you go on out of there, and there was things to keep you alive. Huh? Hey, man, he had a hat down to get eggs or take a whole chicken. Yep. <laughs> And he had a path down to the hall pit. Amen. Like them pork chops. That ham's good. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. And then from there, amen, he, he had passed the things that would sustain the farm. He, he had passed to the cattle and has to the horses. But glory to God, not like unto the day, he had further paths. And glory to God, across these paths, you had to go across the yard out of the lot. He had about 800 acres right there. And praise God, the further you went, to me, it was getting better all the time. And glory to God, because he had blackberries, he had cherries, and he had apples. Amen, I know. Amen, I'm not talking about liquid sticks and, and root beer barrels. and I'm not talking about gummy bears. I'm talking just an apple off of a tree. Little as much of the Lord be in it. If you can appreciate it and be thankful, God woke you up. God gave you a breath of life. God allowed you here tonight. Yes. While you're here, there's hundreds on thousands laying in a, a morgue somewhere. In a hospital somewhere. Just like you as a son. Praise God. I always knew but Grandpa always wore them double pocket shirts. <laughs> I look up at that left pocket. Yeah. It was always pumped up. He had a salt shaker in there. I knew where we was going. Yeah. Amen. Now, glory to God. Amen. He get over there. I wasn't quite tall enough. Amen. Some of us is almost there. It's just out of reach. But hang on. God loves you so much. He's going to pull that fruit. He's going to put it right in your hand. He wants you to be happy. He wants you beside yourself and excited. Man, he put that apple in my hand. I take that bite and pour out salt. Praise God. I start chopping it. Whoa! Yeah. 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 Glory to God. I, I got an apple off of Grandpa's tree. But you see, to get to them vineyards and orchards and stuff was different than in the lot. It was smooth and level. And, huh? Where he's going to the garden or where he's going out to to the haystacks, glory, it's all level and, and easy walking. And God has let us entertain easy. Amen. And we took his yoke up on us. Amen. We've been feeling that. But now burdens begin to lay on us. When we cross that, first thing I know, the heels started to roll. They started to get a little bigger. Praise God. But you see, the thing that I knew, it, it, it was for my wisdom, for knowledge, for understanding. It was for me to educate. Amen. And, and, and to get information because on this path right here after you got out of the lot that was well mowed and stuff the, the hay was a growing up and at this place glory to God you could come up on a bar or a thorn or a stick of punchy eye you had to watch for hornet's nest and beehives you had to watch for snakes on the ground and glory to God it would frighten me it would scare me but you know what old grandpa had me by the finger and he just walked me along. Some places the path was wide. We walked side by side. Some places he, he led me. And that's the way God will do you tonight. Sometimes it's side by side. Sometimes he's leading you through. But one thing you can count on, if he takes you through, he'll bring you out. Can somebody say that? The path is something the church has got off of. Right on. Right on. The path that God made denominations has come along and mowed them so wide yeah. uh, that we're entering therein to our own destruction. Amen. The thing about Grandpa was, amen, as long as I was walking with him, 
I just knew everything was going to be all right. I had an earthly daddy that was a hero of mine, but if it come to walking the path, I'd go around him and get a hold of grandpa. Can you hear what I'm saying? This is one time I'll go around the pastor, I'll go around the evangelist, I'll go around the congregation. I just want to get a hold of the hand of Jesus. I want him to lead me through. I feel safe with him. I feel assured. I feel proper. I feel that he loves me. But nobody else loves me. Can you hear what I'm saying? He laid his life down ranching. I might be here today. These paths was hard as this floor. And worn out and not a blade of grass, not a rock. And sometimes, as a little tot, I took for granted they always was. This thing called salvation and this which you receive through grace, amen, called, sal called salvation, glory to God, amen, just didn't happen. It cost him his life. I didn't know before Grandpa that his dad and them, they, they walked these same paths and they trodden them out and, and, and they cleaned them up. Amen. Not by the size and, and, and the sickles or the horse and the mowers, by walking. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Being a little taught, it'll tell you where you're a novice and babe like, a child, mature. Or an elder. There's a difference in how Grandpa and Dad, and they both mature, but one was elder, and Dad was probably in his 40s. Dad was full of vinegar, you know, <laughs> right on Papa's heels. Papa had the wisdom. He had the authority. Huh? Glory to God. You don't go around Papa. Amen. I want you to know tonight, I don't care what kind of doctrine you're sitting under. I don't care what kind of opinion you got to give. There's only one in authority. There's only one name wherewith man can be saved by. There's only one name that's above every other name. There's only one Christ. There's only one Emmanuel. There's only one resurrection. There's only one Lamb of God. There's only one Lion of the tribe of Judah. His name is Jesus Christ. I recollect the day that we go into the orchard over there, banging to the Grandpa's finger. That old black snake loves them very bad. And that sucker was long as a Mack truck and trailer. Grandpa walks up there, stumps his head, and that didn't do it. He broke a limb, and that thing rolled over, it's done. Cracked him right behind the neck, yeah. Man, what a man. <laughs> yeah. What a man. That's my grandpa. Yeah. Glory to God. I, I mean, when people come in and say, hey, look what the Lord's done. Yeah. Uh, he delivered. He healed. Yeah. Man, he, 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 is, he, is, he has done the miraculous and worked the impossible yeah. in my life. I said, oh, what a God. Yeah. Oh, what a God. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. He's good. We're going up through there and we got, we got by the old snake. It done set something in me. <laughs> I didn't want to go to the old kids. Sometimes things can happen in your experience. You don't want to press on. You just want to stop and camp where you're at. And your mind begins to go back to where you were safe and secure. You see, there was an atmosphere over the house. And the aroma in there. And the cooking in there. And the love in there. And the warmth in there. Man, I just want to go back. I want to go back there. Grandpa said, come on, young. Come on. We top out that hill. I didn't understand it then, but I do now. You hold them old arms and yeah. he was kind of hunkered down. He would look and he'd look. Even my dad at 45 didn't understand what Grandpa was doing. Man, he, he was taking it all in. Amen. Glory to God. God has blessed me with all yeah, of this. Amen. Right praise the Lord and praise God. I'm glad to say I know what a mountaintop experience is. Yeah. I'm glad to say glory to God that God took me on top of some mountains. Yeah. I've been in a lot of valleys, but man, when you get to the top and you can look everything over and see how good it is, how beautiful it is, ain't nobody can paint a picture like God can paint a picture. I've watched 
He had two teeth missing in him. And he pointed down there. He'd smile. He would smile. Ain't nobody in the church smiling at him. It's like everybody's burdened and sad and down. Put some effort out and walk up on the mountain. Yeah. Even if you need some help by holding on to the fact. And my dad would look at me and say, Boy, get up out of that dirt and get on up that path. I'm going to crack this on your ear. <laughs> huh? I ain't had no worry. Prep all day. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You ain't gonna walk it. Yeah. <laughs> Grandpa started taking me. He'd look around at Dad and he'd say, Hey, what? Put him on your shoulder. Put me up on his shoulder. Add a little weight to it. Huh? His trip wasn't quite as joyous now, but he just kept going. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Lord God, maybe you don't know, but Jesus carrying you right now. Yeah, right. It might not be as a joy, but he's going to go to the finish line. He's yeah. going to finish this thing. He's going to take us across. He's going to see that yeah. we receive the award. We're going to gather with him. It'll come on. Yeah. Yeah. The path. It's the same. It was open. Standing on that hill, looking back. There's where I come. Here's where I'm at. He said, only he that come from heaven can go to heaven. How many know where Jesus comes from? The Bible said that he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And he resurrected and he ascended on. And now he's sitting on the right hand side of the Father, waiting patiently, patiently. For the precious fruits of the earth. Yeah. For his bride to be. He's walked these paths. Time and time again. <clears throat> covered them in his blood. Filled them with his spirit. Man I tell you. I could go back. I could go back and walk in paths of Grandpa again. I could go back to the day. Back in 1980. That I was saved. I go back to man, that was a joyous, happy time, glory to God. Well, well, nothing could keep me from going. Man, after a few years of going. You see, with Grandpa, I was a babe in Christ. And there's a lot of babes in Christ. All they need is a little help, folks. Yeah. Give them some encouragement yeah. and lead them along on this path. Amen. For all of you that think this path is a picnic, <laughs> come on. There's more to it, folks. Yeah. He said, you're going to be tried as before. And we're being tried right now, and a lot of people just can't make the path. Right. Can you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'll tell you, are you a babe? Are you a child? Are you mature? Are you an elder? Glory to God. All I want to say is, I want everybody to make it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times I had cousins behind me like little ducks. Yeah. And Grandpa would do the counting and look around and make sure we all made it. Amen. Jesus said to, to his father, I've lost none that you've given. He's going to yeah, make man. sure that every last one of us make heaven our home. Can yeah, somebody say that? Right. Get over there. I like it. Yeah. He called me Junie. He said, Junie, brought you a bucket. He knew what I was going to do. Yeah. And no way that bucket going to get full of Jerry. Yeah. Yes. Pick that thing. Two in my mouth and one in the bucket. Three in the mouth and one in the bucket. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's what, but glory to God. It, it, it was his delight to give me good things. And yeah. it's God's delight to give you good things. Yes. Uh, right. Amen. He likes to see it all over your face. Amen. He loves to see yeah. the smile. He loves, yeah. glory to God, the actions that you show him when he does good to yeah. you. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, and, and dad would ask me, where, where, where's your chairs at, son? Spill <laughs> just a little piece. Uh, what would you, you know what we do? Grandpa had them big, big old pails, I called them. He'd come over, he'd take his hands like that and fill my bucket up. Yeah. He said, There you go, you got yours. Yeah. You got yours. Right. Hey, Amen. He said, I'll give it to you. Heat up, pressed yeah. down, shaking yeah, together. Yeah. It'll run over when I'm done. That's how much God loves us. Yeah. He just wants us to stay on the path. 
He would tell me over and over, don't you get off the path. A lot of times I wanted to go on my own. Stay on the path. Yep. Tell you to stay on the path. on this path. Everything you have need of is going to be supplied. Amen. <laughs> Got on that mountain and we're looking back. I'm going to close here. Looking back. Is it about dark? Did you say about three hours more? Right. Work night. I could see the house lightening up and darkness faintly sitting in. That was supper time to Grandpa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, we're getting close to supper. Yeah, right oh, glory to God. I believe I can hear him a calling right now. Yeah. Amen. We're just about out of here. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Grandpa would say, Grandma's got dinner on the table. It's supper time. I get a looking at that house and praise God, believe it or not, I let loose of that finger and I get right on that path of man. I mean, I run. Huh? I can see them big old black biscuits, glory to God, yeah. whatever they call them, they just biscuits to me. Amen. I can see them taters and beans and I can see that corn and uh, all of that stuff and chicken and, and ham set on the table. But more so than that, I can see the arms of Grandma wide open yeah. down on that one bit. Yeah. Just wait for that grandson to come through that door. I want you to know, glory to God, that Jesus is waiting with wide open yeah. arms yeah. for you to come down that path and come home. Yeah. He loves you so God. Come on! Once we all got in and closed the door, sit down at the table, give the blessing. There. Uh, you see, on the path, I said, you learn, you get educated. I learned on that path and coming down, sitting with my dad, the older bunch, and grandpa, you don't reach up on the table. You don't eat first. You sit there until grandma sits. And then it starts around the table. Mm -hmm. He said, he that is last will be first. Mm -hmm. He that is first will be last. I was the first one there. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Jesus loves me. Grandma would sneak around while they was getting oh, all that yeah. stuff out. She'd give me a little something to nibble on and stuff. <laughs> I was full of them. I got tape. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, you might get tired of that old grandpa and grandma story, but I'll tell you what. Yeah. It was heritage to me. Yeah. Well, it's things that I learned to appreciate and be thankful. It shaped me and formed me. Yeah. It's what brought me to where I am today. Sure. God fearing, Jesus loving people. That knew, glory to God, what it was to go out and to labor and to produce, to raise a family, to care and to love that would give their shirts off of their back. Huh? Let you lay in their own bed, sit at their table. There was no limit that they wouldn't go right over their family. Yeah. There is no limit. He's an unlimited God. Yeah. How far he'll go for you tonight. Yeah. He loves you. I believe she's healed. I need to. At least he's here. The path is the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's 69 here in June. In my mind, I still walk them paths. Absolutely. Over and over and over in my heart and mind. When I hear my grandpa call my name, it makes me smile. When I hear my daddy's voice, it makes me smile. When I look and see grandma standing in the door, when I smell the fragrance of her cooking and the setting of her house, this makes me happy. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Somebody said it'll never be again. That's what was. This is what it is. Yeah, but I ain't stopping there. I'm finishing. Yeah. yeah. I'm going what is yet to come. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I believe I'll run in the pasture fields again. Yeah. Amen. I'll romp and play again. Yeah. I believe I'll get on path again. Shout and holler, jubilee, love the Lord, and hold on to his thing. Yeah. And you hear what I'm going to say. Amen. Praise God. You love the Lord, give him a hand of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you, buddy. I love you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Here. I think I've pulled a top out of it. Good work.